okay? Now I am in um, chapter 5, okay? Um, we're still in James, okay? Go now, you rich men, and weep and howl, for your misery sh that shall come to you. You rich men are corrupt, and your garments are moths. Your gold and silver is cankered, and you shall eat, um, and and shall eat your flesh as in the, where the fire. You shall heap with treasures together from the last days. Behold the inheritance of the laborers who have wrapped down your fields. Who is of the keep back the fraud criers and the criers of them which have reaped and entered into the ears of the Lord's Sabbath. You have lived in pleasures on this earth and now warn you are noticing in your heart in the day of the slayers. In other words, people they put their faith in many things. It's not just riches and they discard Jesus and they rather listen and, and put their love in the things of this world and then when judgment comes they have nothing to put at Jesus feet they don't have his blood his resurrection power they have nothing but their treasures which they don't take nothing with you you know when you die you don't take nothing with you and they will be tormented day and night in outer darkness you have condemned and killed the just and do not resist you that is a, a good person that had done nothing wrong and they um, took their job from them they cut their wages and they're doing the same job even though they still have the money like what's going on in the world you notice and you, us women do you notice when we go food shopping ladies and do you notice how the packages are getting smaller and you're paying more? Hmm? God's looking upon that. That's their judgment is coming. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband waited for his precious fruit of the earth. That's us. And has no, and has no long patience for it until he receiveth it early in the latter rain yeah he's coming Woo. be patient therefore brethren to the Lord he's coming in the husband and he waited for the precious fruit of the earth okay be you also patient send Frank your heart for the coming of our Lord draweth night we're supposed to be rejoicing when we talk about Jesus coming and saw you here on this webs is people don't want Jesus to come yet I think it's because they still have sin in their heart we're supposed to comfort one another with this we're, we're to rejoice and be glad and be merry and be hopeful and um, be glad that uh, he's coming not yet Shauna do your writings um, and be and be glad and be rejoicing over this the people they don't want him to come. They still, oh, I want to live yet. Live for what? There's nothing here worth living. This ain't our home. They better check themselves and see where they are in the faith. The coming of our Lord, behold, the husband waited for his precious fruit in the earth, and he has long patience for it, until he receiveth the earth in the latter rain. But you also be patient, and stand with your heart of the coming of our Lord's dwelling. Grudge not against one another, brethren, lest you be condemned. And that's not one saved, always saved, is it? Grudge not we at here not against one another brethren lest thou be condemned behold the judge standeth before the door he's standing at the door saints take my brethren the prophet who has spoken the name of the Lord for an example for suffering affliction and patience 
Behold, he counteth them happy, which endures. Which endures. The only ones that are going to make it is the ones that endure to the end. Um, the name of the Lord, examples for the suffering of the affections and patience. Behold, we are counted them happy, which endure. You have heard of the patience of Job, and he has said of the end of the Lord that the Lord is very pitiful and tender mercy. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, nor by heaven, nor by earth. The earth, nor be another oath. But let you, yea, be yea, and your nay, be nay. Yes, be yes, and your no, be no. Lest you fall into condemnments. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any married? Let him pray sing songs if any among you sick now listen what Jesus is saying here brother and sister is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church people think that means a minister that preaches in a building that can be a mature child of God that knows the word of God a mature child of God a church is a building people we are the temple of God people understand that you are God's temple he says do not forsake yourself assembling together what do you think we're doing right now we are assembling together is there any among you afflicted let him pray if is there any um, mercy let him sing songs is there any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and pray of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he committed any sins they shall be forgiven him you understand that he will forgive them their sins well if someone has sin in them then they somewhere backslid or they walked away from the Lord Jesus Christ so this is talking about a, a child of God okay confess your faults one to another pray for one another that you may be healed we're to pray that we may be healed the affliction fervent prayer of a righteous availeth much. God did not put sickness on anybody or anybody. You understand that. God put no sickness on you. Elijah was a man subject like passions as we are. And had prayed earnestly that he might that it might not rain. And it rained not till that 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 it in the sea did um, it rain not on the earth by the space of three years and six months and he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth the third fourth fruit brother if any of you do an error in truth and one convicts him let them that which are convicted of sin from the error of their ways and thou shalt save their soul from death you listening to this in James 20 5 20 let him that let him know that has with convict convict the sinner from their error of their ways and shall save their soul from death and hide their multiples of sin that Jesus that their points once again once saved always saved it's not so it's not this Bible is not talking to sinners the only thing in the Bible for a sinner is you need a savior and he loved you and he gave his life for you father God I send your word and you said you will heal them and you would heal them of any sickness and disease, send the word. In Yeshua Mashiach Maranatha, very soon. Amen.